Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl. And this is Your Journey Yoga. And today, just a gentle stretch, seated on the floor. Uh, we're going to get neck and shoulders, lower back and hips. A um, little bit of bonus stretches here and there, but just uh, really focusing kind of on the upper body. A seated position that feels good to you. You're welcome to sit up on a bolster if you have a folded blanket or whatever feels good to you. If you need to lift your bum up off the floor a little bit, you can even do this in a chair. So whatever feels good to you. We're going to roll those shoulders up and back. Just a great way to start those shoulder shrugs. Let those shoulders slide down and away. Oh, goodness. Let's do that again. Big shoulder roll. Take it up and back. So if you have a tendency to hold tension and tightness in your neck and your shoulders, great way to let that go. One more time. Take it up and back and let those shoulders just gently slide down and away. We bring the hands down by our sides, pressing the palms down towards the mat, or if you're in a chair, just reach those fingertips towards the floor. Just a gentle pull down of those shoulders, a lengthening of your neck, reaching the crown of the head high, and as you exhale, dropping the chin down towards the chest. And just breathe. Notice what you feel as the chin comes down. As the palms press towards the floor, those fingertips reach towards the floor. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, lean your head to the right. Right ear over the right shoulder. Mm, just lean it as far as feels good to you, and then press that opposite hand towards the floor. So as we lean the head to the right, left palm presses down, or left fingertips reach down. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and exhaling your head to the left. Right hand pressing down. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Now again, remember this is gentle, right? So when we take care of ourselves gently, we want to make sure that we're not getting anything in too intense, not too deep, just to what feels good, good, good. Inhale back to center, lift those arms overhead, pull the elbows back and down, cactus arms. Let's go three of them. Oh, squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, reach and exhale, pull. Inhale, reach and exhale, pull. Reach it up and overhead, interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the sky. And we're just gonna make a big circle with our torso, kind of hollowing out and then arching, hollowing and arching, just whatever feels good. Make it as big or as little as you want to. Let's do one more pass and then just switch directions as you're ready. If you need a couple more, take a couple more. Oh, I love to do this first thing in the morning. It just seems like it works out. Kind of all of the tightness and tension from sleeping. One more rotation. If you need a couple more, take them. And then lower those arms down to shoulder height. Palms are facing out. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, press your palms forward. As you press your spine back, tuck your chin. Inhale, pull the hands in. Heart center. And exhale, press it out. Palms face out. Tuck your chin. Inhale, pull it in, hands to heart center, and exhale, press it out. And inhale, rise, arms come back up overhead, and as you exhale, lean to the left. Mm, just a long stretch, taking your gaze up along the inside of that right arm if that feels okay. Inhale it up tall, and exhale, lean to the right, pressing through that left palm, turning and looking up along the inside of that left arm. Inhale it back up nice and tall, bring the hands behind your head, elbows are wide, and exhale, draw the chin towards the chest. This time, close those elbows and just gently pull. Inhale, head up nice and tall, releasing the weight of the head back into your hands as those elbows are open wide. Let that head be heavy. Inhaling it up nice and tall, and as you exhale, lean to the right. Oh, that lateral movement feels so good through the ribs and the waist, stretching those intercostal muscles. Maybe a little lift of that left elbow. Inhale, weight rise. And exhale, let's lean it to the left, lifting that right elbow. Breathe, breathe, breathe. 
Inhale it back to center. Release your hands down by your sides. Let's rock it back and switch so the other leg is in front. If you're sitting in the chair, it's fine. You don't need to switch anything. If you've crossed your legs, then yes, switch your legs. Pressing your palms down towards the ground, lifting the crown of the head high. As you exhale, turn and look out over your right shoulder. So as we've switched our legs, just noticing, does it feel awkward? Does it feel tight, tense anywhere? It's okay. Just do your best to let it go. Let's bring that face back towards front and then look out over your left shoulder just as far as you can turn without twisting those shoulders. Inhale it back to center. Exhale, press your palms down, lengthen that spine, lengthen through the neck, inhale, reach it up. And as you exhale, release that right hand down, left arm up and over and let's sway side to side. Mm, three times each side, just at your pace. Inhaling, reaching up, exhaling as you lean over. You can look up if you like, you can look straight ahead if that feels better to you. Keeping that core strong, supporting through the back, keeping that posture nice and tall. Just noticing what you feel and where. Does it get easier each time you come back to that side? Let's do one more each side and just breathe. Mm, if ever you're wondering what the heck do I do, take a second and just breathe. Our breath, ah, such an amazing gift. Open those arms out to a T, flex the wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale it open and reach again arms open out to a T flex your wrists hollow your tummy and chest press your palms forward spine back chin down inhale it open and reach one more time exhale open flex press it forward hollow your tummy and chest inhale it open and reach bending that left elbow hand behind your head right hand to the elbow and gently press so a few little bonus stretches, mm, just wiggle, 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 side to side. Slow it down if you like. Mm. Coming back to center, extend both arms and then bend that right elbow, left hand to the elbow and gently press, chin staying off the chest. Little wiggle, you can hollow your tummy and chest, just move in however it feels good to you. Stretching through the shoulder, through the tricep, down the side body. It's all about moving in ways that release tension and feel good to you. Coming back to center, extend both arms. Cactus arms, pull those elbows back and down. Cactus arms, one of the greatest stretches you can do to help improve posture. As you open up that chest and activate the muscles through the back. Oh, that posterior chain helps keep us standing taller. Last one. Inhale, reach. Release those hands forward. Take a hold of your shins just below your knees. Take a big breath in. Press the chest forward. Arch your back. Lift your gaze. Seated cat and cow. Exhale and hollow. Inhale, press it through. Arch your back. Lift your gaze. And exhale, hollow. And inhale it up nice and tall. And let's sweep that left foot around behind us, creating that little bit of a letter Z shape, if you will. If you'd like a little more intensity, open up those feet for a 90 degree bend with both legs. You'll notice that imp impacts and influences the stretch in the hips just a little bit more. Now we're gonna kind of just work side to side. So you can come over onto that right hand and then gently press that left sit bone down. Again, come over onto the hand. And then back to that sit bone. Just notice, ooh, that's intense, right? So just taking care of yourself. We don't want to go above a six or a seven. Remember, this is gentle. And if you need to pull those feet in, pull the feet in. That's a little less intense. We bring the hands behind us. Let's open up those feet to that 90 degrees if they're not already. And just rock those knees side to side, creating that 90-90 little hip mobility, little release for that lower back at your pace. Doesn't have to be fast. Doesn't have to be super slow. So just what feels good to you. 
It can be an adventure finding what feels good and what's super challenging, keeping a sense of humor on those places where we're like, oh my word, why is that so hard? Always listening to and honoring what's going on with the body. Coming back to center. Let's extend those legs out nice and long. Go ahead and turn the length of your mat, extending out long. If you'd like, you can have something underneath your knees to support you. That is a great way to take away some of that intensity. Softening your feet, another great way. If you're like, I want it, bring it. Walk those hands forward. Lengthen the legs. Oh boy, pull those toes back. Feeling that stretch through the backs of the legs. Mmm, that bonus stretch. Remember I said we'd stay typically for the most part in the upper body? Well, here we go. Glutes. Hamstrings, calves, feet. Just let your head be heavy. If you need to lessen that intensity, soften your feet. Put something underneath your knees. Bend your knees. Take care of yourself. And slowly walk those hands back up. We're going to turn and pull that left knee in, sole the foot along the inside of the thigh. Now you can bring it out and away from you as far as you need to or in as close as feels good to you. And we're going to reach, flexing that right foot, turn towards that right leg and gently release your hands down, supporting with your hands, lengthening through the crown of the head, rotating the torso so you're working to center the tummy and chest onto your leg. And then you can start to bend those elbows or walk your hands out. Remember, this is gentle, right? So keep it gentle. Be nice. And we walk those hands back up. We turn towards center and we're going to pull that foot out and away from us just a little bit and walk it forward. And again, you can support with your hands. You can stay up as high as you wish or you can start to walk it out. I love to stack my hands for the forehead to rest against. That gives me a little bit of an elevation, a little bit of a lift. You can even stack fists. You can use a block here if you like, a pillow, whatever it is that feels good to you. Getting into that left hip, groin, glute, lower back. And gently walk your hands back in and we shift left leg goes long right foot comes in we turn flexing that left foot if that feels okay to you turning towards that left leg and we just slowly walk it out be nice to your body checking in with that right knee if you need to adjust you can adjust you can always have both legs extended maybe one side's fine with the knee bent the other one needs a little love it's okay you can walk those hands forward if you like. Remember, we're keeping this gentle, so below a six or a seven. Your breath should be super slow and easy. Absolutely zero pain. Just a nice, gentle stretch. And slowly walk your hands back up. And we're going to pull that right foot out and away just a little bit. You can have both legs long if you need to. And we walk it forward. You can stay up on the hands. You can come onto your forearms. You can walk it down to your hands. Forehead just gently resting. Again, you can use a bolster. You can use a block. A pillow. We just give the body a few moments to truly, truly just release. To recognize that we're gonna, not going to go too hard, too fast. We're just going to let our body find this place that feels good. And then slowly walk it back up. 
Let's once again crisscross those legs. Whatever leg feels good to you is in front. We sit up nice and tall, resting the hands comfortably. Close your eyes for a moment. Rotate your palms to the sky. Drip the wrists over the knees. Bring your index finger and thumb to gently touch. We slow our breath down. Honoring this time of self-care. Recognizing the gift of time on your mat and the difference that makes in your life. Time on your mat is never time wasted. We always learn. Here we let go. We free ourselves from any burdens, any worries, any frustrations, any hurt or sadness, but rather finding joy in movement, the freedom within our breath, the gift of recharging, reconnecting, reshaping our thoughts as well as our body. Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath in, reach. And exhale, pull your hands down to heart center. And I thank you so very much for joining me today for this little bit of self-care, for that upper body, shoulders, neck, lower back, rib cage, all of it, and that little bonus stretch for the hamstrings and the glutes. Be well, my friends. I hope that felt super good. Just go out and do some wonderful things, share some love, and I will see you the next time. Until then, light, love, and namaste.